Hello astronomy students, this is Mr. Stockbridge. I'm going to take you through the pinhole camera for the Solography project. Now what you have before you here is actually an old project that has already run once. I thought I'd go ahead and I'd just start from scratch and show you how I set the whole thing up to begin with. So if you decide to try and do this again sometime in the future, you'll be able to see the whole process from start to finish. So. Here we go. This is the old pinhole camera. You can see I've got the old piece of tape on there. It's just a pinhole camera. It's a film camera with a nice hole drilled in it. And what we're going to do is there's the lid. We're going to take a nice clean piece of aluminum foil that I've cut up and we're simply going to tape it back over the hole. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't matter which side is facing in or out on the foil, but we're gonna try and keep it nice and even just for safety's sake. And we're just gonna tape the foil down all the way along the edge, all the way around. So getting a little bit of a wrinkle there, but that's okay. It'll be all right. Now I'm using scotch tape here. Technically I should probably be using duct tape or electrical tape, something a little more sturdy. But since your projects are all set up for short term, just a couple of weeks, this will do. If I was setting this up for a period of several months, then I'd probably want to use the heavier tape. There we go. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take that piece off since it's not needed anymore. At this point, what we're going to do is we're going to insert the new piece of photo paper. Here it is right here. It doesn't look like much. It probably doesn't look like much on the screen, but you can see that this side has a little bit more of a sheen to it. And along the edge here, you see this little change in color. That's from where it was sticking out of the side of the book where I was protecting it from the light and you can see it's already changed color a little bit. So that shiny side needs to face outward and we're just gonna curl this up and slip it into the can and I don't know if you can see it in there but there's the hole right there so that the paper is not covering the hole and then we're going to seal this up. Because I want to go ahead and set this up for outdoor use again, I'm going to go ahead and put on my sticky tab. You don't necessarily have to use the sticky tab, but I'm going to. Depending on where it is that you're trying to mount this, you may decide that you would prefer using just duct tape or electrical tape and taping the heck out of this sucker. The big thing is that it can't move around at all once you have it out there. All right, I didn't get that perfectly straight, but it'll be all right. So this is pretty much what you have in your lab kit. And what we're gonna do now is, let me show you how this is going to go setting it up. All you need to do to set it up is remove this tab right here, this little pull strip, and stick the adhesive onto your onto your surface, wherever it is you're setting it. Remember that you want to face this ideally due south. So use the compass on your phone, use an orienteering compass, but go ahead and face it due south and that way you're going to catch the sun when it's at its highest point in the sky uh, and you'll see what it looks like when you have your results. Now the last stage to set this up is we need to poke a hole in the pinhole camera and you usually don't want to do this until you're actually set up in the field. So you've stuck it on wherever it's going to go and now you do the last step. I'm not taking my camera out there so I'm going to show it to you here. Please do not use a thumbtack. I've used them in the past. They do a terrible job. Best thing is just a small safety pin. Now just because I'm picky and I have it on hand, the smaller the hole, the better. So I'm using a very small safety pin. The hole is right there. And so literally we want to poke the smallest, cleanest hole possible. 
you might even you might barely be able to even see that. There you go. But that's it. And now it's going to be stuck in position and recording and you'll be all set to go. Now I'm going to show you a little optional step here. As you know in the project you have options. You can leave it open for a full month or there's a description for how to do a little time lapse where basically you close the camera up and only open it for one day a week. So I'm going to do that, show you how that would set up just because, well, just because. So I'm cutting off a little piece of electrical tape here. I fold a little bit over just so I have a nice easy flap and I'm going to temporarily cover my hole. So now light is no longer coming in and hitting the photo paper. So I can take this outside, I can set it up wherever I need to, and what I'll do is if I'm setting this up for one week at a time, I'll simply go out before dawn, I'll peel this off, I'll leave it going all day, I'll come back at night, and I'll stick this back on and recover the hole until next week. Again, that's optional, you don't have to, but if you want to give it a shot, there you go. Okay, those are the basics of the pinhole camera for the Solography project. Please let me know if you have any questions. I think you're going to enjoy this and you'll certainly enjoy the results.